Hello, this is the last unit, unit five for the week with three. And in this uh, unit, we are concentrating on the assignments because here we need to really practicalize what we have learned right from unit one of week one to unit four of week three. We have to start practicalizing it. Remember the assignment has been given and here I'm going to explain further on how you're going to walk through the assignment. Now in walking through the assignment, we're told, look at the assignment here, choose a cause of your choice, which means choose any cause of your choice, any cause, choose one. State the stakeholders for the cause and explain the impact of each stakeholder in the course. You need to state the stakeholders. Remember, we have walked through during the ADI, first stage of ADI analysis, we talk about the stakeholders. We have to look at those that will be involved in the production of that particular course, in the development of that particular course. The learners, yes, the audience are there. Who are your target audience? Who are your learners? Right here, the example we have used so far, we are using the master students. Those are our learners. Then you're going to talk about those that are going to work with you. Are you going to need the instructional designers to work with you, the IC personnel? They will have to look at the institution. Who are those that will be involved at the management level? So all these are and the role they are going to play, not just listing them, but their roles as well. And explain the impact of each stakeholder in the course, because they must have a role in your course. Before then, number three says, write two learning objectives for the course. So you have a course, just like the one we have shown the example on. Then from that course, write two uh, learning objectives, two objectives for the course. Then from the course objective, derive at least two major topics. You write learning objective for the course. Now derive two major topics. You have, to, because each objective, you should be able to derive a topic from there. The second object, you derive a topic also. Now, when your that is done, number five says, take one of the major topics and derive at least two subtopics. Remember, you now have two major topics. Take one and break it down again. What are we doing now? You are breaking them into bits, into chunks. Remember this scaffolding method. Break them into chunks for easy understanding. Now you come in again, number C says, on each of the two subtopics, write two learning outcomes for each. So right here now, we have led the teacher center, we are now in the student center. Write two learning outcomes. And number seven say, present a lesson plan in a table. Use this sample. So remember, we've just shown you in the, the last uh, two videos, you have the course, the target audience, duration, minimum hours of study, start date, course objective. Now, this form part of your course information. Then the two major topics, let's see it, and even the subtopics. Now, having done that, let's see this the lesson plan. On the lesson plan, you have the topic. That topic could be a module, could just be a topic that you have presented. Then you have the learning outcome. So let me give you some time just to look through. I want you to look through the table and let's see if there is any one that you do not quite understand. Great. I could see that you are all following the topic, the learning outcomes, the key content, the learning activities, uh, pedagogical approach, learning resources, assessment method, estimated time of study, and person responsible. This table is similar to the table we just walked through. So you are expected to walk through all this. You now bring in your content, you fill them in, and provide. Then number eight says, identify OER, that meets the learning resources in the lesson plan. Remember, we have just worked on this, and on that 
column of the learning resources. You have put in a particular resource you want to meet. Now we are saying, identify the OER you want to use there. Go and bring it out. Let's see it. Take us to that OER material you want to use. Then develop the content for the course using the information in the lesson plan. Number nine now is taking us to development stage. You remember in Adi, what you need to do is to develop the course. So you now pick your lesson plan and you now pick the course, the lesson plan, and build on the lesson plan by producing the content. That is the development. And that is the third stage of Adi. Then Adi content developed using OER as standalone or integrated, explain what you did. Remember I said, if now you pick that your lesson plan, you have the set up your learning activities, the pedagogy, the learning resources. Now you have picked the resource. Do the resource you have picked, which is OER resource, it might be a full course. It might be a whole, uh, maybe a section of a course. But everything there, you are not going to change the is, you are not going to change the words. Are you using it as a stand alone? Or you want to adapt it? If you adapt it, then you are integrating it. So let us know. Then the deadline we have for submission is on the 10th of April, 2022. And uh, that is about the time we are ending our class for this uh, particular section. So if that happens, then we need to have time to now score what you have done. And to score what you have done means we need to have received it before then. Because if you do not submit on time, then you will not be able to get feedback. You won't be able to get feedback. So in this regard, you may want to know how is it going to be scored. That is why we have the rubric. There is no score attached, but it is mandatory that you send in your work, we look at it and give you feedback. Because what we are after is ability for you to integrate your open educational resource into your content. So we look forward to receiving your assignment as when due. So with this, we've come to the end of week three and uh, i hope we'll begin to do our assignment we have one more week to go so i have to say bye bye